Hey, what's going on traders? It's Ricky with TechBot Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the 1% growth goal that I tend to set for a lot of our new traders. So the reason, and I want to make sure that you guys understand this, that this is a specific goal that you work towards. It doesn't mean that you necessarily have to achieve it on a consistent basis when you're just getting started. I know that there's a huge learning curve, just like I've explained multiple times, but a lot of our newer traders due to other people within the YouTube platform that set goals of aiming for certain stocks and certain runners that are going up 150, 50%, 20% set such unrealistic goals goals for a lot of newer traders that don't understand aggressive momentum trading. It doesn't mean that it's not possible to catch 150% or 1000% runners. It just means that it's not very common to identify the proper times to enter and the proper times to exit for a lot of newer traders. So that is why I like to set some form of structure and not a certain set dollar goal, but a certain percentage growth goal. The reason that we set it per trade and not per day is because we understand that if you're within the United States and under $25,000, of your account value, you could only day trade three times within a five day period. And again, that should be a blessing. And the reason why that I'm saying that it should be viewed as a blessing is because you are given three opportunities within a five day period to make the most out of those trades. And I'm going to talk about the top three series of best practices that I think that someone that's just getting started based off of my opinion should focus on. The first thing is direction. The second thing is patterns. And the third thing is overall opportunity cost. Talking about direction, again, the whole premise of you investing in the stock market is to grow your account. So if you want to grow your account, it makes sense to then invest in patterns that are showing signs of growth, right? But again, so many newer traders try to focus on penny stocks or a bunch of pump and dumps that are showing signs of a very consistent downtrend. And this makes it very difficult for people to identify once the proper time to enter and once the proper time to exit due to serious manipulation. And again, this doesn't mean that you know, trading pump and dumps or uh, manipulated stocks or, or overall momentum runners are not possible. It just means that it's not very likely for newer traders to be able to accommodate that specific volatility. And that is why I set a much more, in my opinion, conservative approach. And again, if you compare my specific trading style of aiming anywhere from seven to 10% growth a week, for someone that's experienced like myself, compared to any other trader out there that aggressively day trades, there is no other comparison of people that are aiming for, you know, 50, 100, 150% on a consistent basis. I find it much more realistic for our traders to set a realistic goal, something to work towards. It doesn't mean that they necessarily have to hit it every single time. I think I'm someone that's very goal oriented. And I think a lot of the people that follow me would agree. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is overall patterns. Now that we understand that it's very important to invest in patterns that are showing signs of growth and understanding the direction, it's also important to understand the series of different patterns that you can identify within the stock market. There's three patterns that I really like to focus on, and that's uptrend patterns, horizontal patterns, and downtrend patterns. I like to avoid downtrend patterns for New York traders and solely focus on those first two horizontal patterns and uptrend patterns. If you want to grow your account, in my opinion, one of the hardest parts for newer traders is identifying the proper times to enter and the proper times to exit. You're someone that's just getting started, so it's gonna be much more difficult for you to successfully and consistently identify when something is uptrending or when to buy. And it makes it that much easier when investing in horizontal or ascending uptrend patterns to actually end up in the green. And the reason that I'm saying that is, again, if you're investing in something that's consistently making higher highs or higher lows, and overall the direction is trending up and you did not get in at the best price point, due to the overall direction being in your favor, if you simply give it time, it will most likely continue to uptrend and then exceed your initial purchase price making it that much easier and accommodates your specific position. And that is someone that's just getting started. Same thing with a horizontal pattern. It's much easier to identify the overall low points, the overall high points, and it makes it that much easier for you to be able to enter and exit a stock successfully. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is overall opportunity costs. What do I mean by that? Making sure that the margin of profit outweighs the margin of loss. A perfect example of this is let's say you're a person that buys and sells iPhones. You buy iPhones for $200 to $300 and you sell them for $500. But let's say that there's this iPhone that gets posted for sale for $495. The margin of profit from $495 to $500 is only $5 margin of profit. And someone that's knowledgeable when it comes down to investing in iPhones, because of black ESN, iCloud lock, or overall just blacklisted phone, this might be something that you might not want to invest in because of the risk involved. And a $5 margin of profit, just in a sense, would not be worth the investment. The same thing when it comes down to trading. 
you want to make sure that the opportunities, right, three, if you're under the PD2 rule, that you take advantage of are aligning with your specific goal. If your goal is 3% a week and you're given three opportunities within a five day period to make the most of it, you should be empowered to say more no than you do yet. You should be more selective in what you choose to trade with. This is something that's going to come to you with time. And this is the last thing that I wanna talk about. Why is it so important for someone that's just getting started to start paper trading? For those that don't understand what paper trading is, for those that don't understand what simulation trading is, it simply means trading with fake money. This is something from the very beginning. You guys can search up paper trading on YouTube and I have the first video on YouTube because I have such a huge focus and empowerment behind that. From the very beginning, for all those that have enrolled in TechBot Solutions, which is the free group that we have, the largest group out there on Facebook with over 191,000 members, and it's the second link in the description, and also Learn Plan Profit, our private course group that gets to watch me trade live every single day, we always encourage our newer traders to start paper trading, to practice, repeat, and implement everything it is that you learn until it actually sticks and makes sense. When it comes down to watching a bunch of videos on YouTube, it can become very overwhelming because of all the terminology and all the series of best practices that you are learning. But for someone that takes in information in increments and begins to plan, implement, and repeat and refine everything it is that they learn, on a consistent basis, you will be much better off than the average person who consumes seven hours information all at once and then tries to figure out what it is that they are doing but is so overwhelmed with the serious information that they just took in. And one of the things that I wanna talk about is again a little bit more about my specific trading style. I wanna make sure that you guys understand that I'm saying trading when it comes down to trading in the stock market. And this is a term that can be easily misunderstood in comparison from trading to investing. And what I mean by that, a lot of people like to make the comparison and like to throw day traders under the bus when it comes out to comparing traders like myself and someone like Warren Buffett, who is viewed as an investor and the greatest investor of all time. 100%. There is a complete difference from someone like Warren Buffett, a hedge fund manager that literally manages hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, to someone trading with a twenty to $30,000 account size and is trading a series of stocks and ETFs that offer a 2 to 3% margin intraday. If you don't understand that, then dedicate more time to learn more about the difference from a trader and an investor. Because when you make the comparison of someone that is making 10% growth a week as an investor, and for someone that thinks it's completely mind boggling to be able to replicate that on a consistent basis as a day trader with proper risk management, with proper pattern identification, and making sure that every opportunity that you take advantage of is worth the risk. Just like we did today, I covered a little bit over 3% profit on my overall account size, and I closed a little bit over $858 profit. I also, just for those that want to see it happen in real time, and I believe I'm the only person on YouTube that offers this specific service is our Learn Plan Profit group, yes, they get access to the Learn Plan Profit course for a lifetime. Yes, they get access to the Learn Plan Profit Discord chat where they can network with thousands of traders all across the world. On top of that, they get the ability to watch me trade live every single day. So what I put down there for you, it's literally the first link in the description is the live trading session that we have today. So you guys can get a taste of what it's like to watch me trade live every single day. Click the first link in the description. Just like I do every single day at Market Open, I trade anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour every single day. I show my entry points, I show my exit points, not for others to mimic my trades, but to share my thought process. The market is always changing. And yes, you can watch a series of videos, you can read a series of books, but there's nothing like being able to see something in real time as you're planning to implement the series of best practices and to ask questions and get them answered as you go. And that is something that has been of huge value for those members who have chosen to enroll and be a part of the Learn Plan Profit community. I wanna make sure that you guys understand that I never require or force anyone to be a part of these groups. The reason that we are the largest group on YouTube, right, for those who invest in the stock market with over half a million subscribers, and the reason that we are the largest private Facebook group for those who invest in the stock market with nearly 200,000 members is because we are here to empower people to be the best person that they can be. And if that does not make sense to you, and if that just doesn't resonate well with you, then guess what? 
find a group or a community that does empower you. I'm not here to spoon feed you. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm not going to tell you what to trade. I'm not going to be here to trade for you. I'm not going to hold your hand. I'm going to be here to answer your questions and at least assist you along the way. If you see value in that, great. If you don't, then guess what? You simply don't have to join our free group and you don't have to join our learn plan proper group. It is all free will, just like it's always been. And one of the last things that I wanna talk about is again, a lot of older people like to make the assumption that if you're someone that's very young and wanting to get started in learning more about the stock market, I literally don't think that there has ever been a better time to get started. We've talked about simulation trading and paper trading, meaning that you can start to trade and implement everything that you learn for free with a free paper trading account that does not cost you one penny or actually invest any real money. But you get to practice everything that is that you learn and get your feet wet and familiarize yourself with the specific market. On top of that, you can join free groups and identify what communities resonate best with you, what communities empower you and make you the best person that you can be. And as you begin to learn these series of best practices of understanding risk management, pattern identification, overall managing risk, and making sure that every opportunity that you take advantage of is worth it, these concepts and best practices that you learn and implement with discipline are something that I truly do believe can benefit you and act as a positive catalyst in so many other markets such as real estate, drop shipping, starting your own business, and overall entrepreneurship. One of the perfect examples that I can give you also on top of that is I can only imagine the number of people that are going to want to subjugate me because I bought this. It's a 2016 Porsche GT3 RS, MSRP, it's a little bit over $200,000, and they're like, why is this 24-year-old kid buying such expensive cars and just throwing his money away. Again, trust me, I am knowledgeable in what it is that I do and I've done it for a number of years where I've been able to profit off of the cars that I buy. If you've watched any of my videos and what I empower every single member to do is to not just spend the money that you have, but to be empowered to always find the best deal possible and do what 90% of the normal people don't do. And that's just say yes. It's understanding how to negotiate, how to understand overall market value, and to ensure every single time that you make an investment, because that's what this is to me, that you do and dedicate time and that there's a reason behind it. MSRP, yes, a little bit over $200,000. I was able to pick this one up for about $180,000, which gives me about a $15,000 margin of profit for the specific spec mileage and condition of what it was that I bought. Again, if this does not make sense to you and you just 100% don't believe me, then guess what? I don't care because your opinion simply does not matter just like it shouldn't matter to each and every single one of you. There are so many opinionated people out there and they're always going to want to subjugate you and bring you down and remind you why you should you know, pursue the traditional path. I'm someone that is a true believer that it's amazing to have a traditional nine to five to stay afloat. And once you become stable, that you can diversify and begin to explore a series of different markets just like I did. But it does not mean because I was not successful in a specific market that I have to bring down others because of my experience. And just remind yourself that. If there's a way to get started that only costs you your time and only costs you your effort, then why not start paper trading? Easiest way to do so. Start becoming more familiar with different markets that you want to invest in. Start to join communities and teams of people who empower you and uplift you and don't just subjugate you and tell you that it's not possible because I can promise you it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy and it doesn't mean that it's going to happen in a short period of time but it is 100% possible. And there's so many people who are perfect examples of this. And I just hope that you guys understand that. So thank you guys again so much for your time. Again, please, if you guys have time, I did plug that first link in the description for the recap of my live trading session today. If you wanna check it out, great. If not, I 100% understand. If you wanna click the second link in the description, there's our free Facebook group with over 192,000 members. We're the largest one out there for those who invest in the stock market. The third thing is the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library. That's the group that I talked about of being able to watch me trade live. And that is the only service that I offer for those that want to work with me on a closer basis. I really do appreciate your guys' time. Continue working hard. Continue following your dreams. Let your passion be your drive and your success. I hope I earned your thumbs up. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green now. Take it easy, team.